So you might be trying to figure out what the differences are between the OEM version of a Windows, you know, PC, and the retail version of the Windows operating software. Now, I will tell you starting off, the big thing to keep in mind is that there aren't really any big, massive, you know, software features that are different between a Windows OEM and, you know, the Windows retail versions. So the features and everything are going to be really going to be exactly the same. The functionality of both are going to be exactly the same thing too. So if you were worried about buying a, you know, your Windows version that you have, and if it's OEM or if it's retail, and you're trying to figure out and you're afraid whether one is, you know, going to be better than the other one, it's not really the case. They're, ba you know, they're both basically the same thing. The difference here, and this is the big thing, the difference between an OEM Windows you know, version and a retail version of Windows is that the OEM version is tied to the computer that they're installed on. So if you're going through, right, and let's say I have the OEM version of Windows, if I have it somehow installed on one computer, let's say I just have it on my you know recent version of computer or whatever, I cannot go ahead and, you know, basically if I upgrade my computer to a different device or whatever, that Windows version is tied to that computer and I cannot go ahead and transfer that to a new computer. So the way that works is basically if I'm going through and, you know, let's say I have a new computer and I have my old computer. If I have an OEM version of that particular, you know, Windows on that computer, I can't transfer it over to my other one. But if I have a retail version of that Windows version, so if you have the retail keys of it, I can go ahead and transfer that to a new PC or to a new laptop or to a new device, whatever I have. So that makes it significantly easier for you to go ahead. Instead of having to buy, you know, constantly buy new versions of Windows keys, you can just go and buy one. And if you're always going to be using a new computer, you're not going to be really using the old one. Well, you can depend on that retail key still being there and you can just transfer it over to a different, you know, PC. The big thing to keep in mind here though, is that, you know, I hope you understand, it's not an unlimited version of Windows keys that you have if you're getting the retail one. The big thing to keep in mind is that with a retail version of Windows keys, yes, you can transfer it, but it's not going to be like, you know, the older one is not going to have that those Windows keys anymore. So with that being said, updates, all that stuff isn't really going to be there for a Windows, you know, retail version on an older one. So let's say I have PC1 and I'm upgrading to PC2. Well, if I have the retail one, I can go up to PC2, right, and put my Windows keys in it, but PC1 will basically no longer have those keys installed in it. So keep that in mind. But I do think for the everyday person, if you're really going to be stuck with just like one version of Windows or whatever, you might be okay with getting a, you know, uh, getting a, you know, OEM key. If you're planning on keeping that key, you know, forever or keeping that, you know, PC forever, then it might be okay. I think if you're going and, you know, constantly upgrading your PCs or whatever, maybe getting the retail route is better, but keep in mind that there's a difference in the cost. It's not the same price. So because of that, again, you might want to go ahead and, you know, see if it's worth it just buy OEM keys over and over again, rather than paying for the retail keys from that, you know, specific standpoint as well. So from that side, that's kind of how, you know, I, I would cover it up. You know, if you have any thoughts or questions or you, if you are trying to figure out what else is going on, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so long.